They introduced Joe Shane, their new general manager, the New York Giants did, and John Mara, um, one of the owners of the Giants, got up to the podium and was asked if uh, there was a future for Daniel Jones, um, and he had a response about that. And uh, it also led to a conversation if the Giants might go ahead and acquire, get put their, put their hat in the ring for Deshaun Watson. This is what John Mara had to say. We're, we're not we're not trading for Deshaun Watson. John, why not? Last why not? one. Why not, John? Yeah. Sorry, I just I mean there Last wants to follow up. Sorry, John. Yeah, I, there's uh, there's so many reasons why we wouldn't do that. I mean, cap wise, we couldn't afford it, but more importantly, uh, with the allegations that that are out there right now, that's just not the right fit for us. In case for those who might want to um, wonder. Because uh, you're listening on Sirius XM or Odyssey or this terrestrial radio affiliate, smart enough to have the Rich Eisen show. The look that uh, John Mara gave to the reporter asking the question, the body language after that, and then when the follow up question of why not, the look that he gave this reporter was similar to the look the President of the United States gave to Peter Ducey the other day with a live microphone in front of him. <laughs> okay. In case you're wondering. Giants aren't going to acquire somebody with all of those allegations. So basically, is what he said. Cap problems too. Hey, he's not coming to the Giants. John Mara did have a very um, straightforward answer about whether Daniel Jones is their guy. The answer was yes, and he took responsibility. "Quote: We've done everything possible to screw this kid up since he's been here." We wow. certainly have not given up on Daniel Jones. You can't really argue with that. <laughs> it hasn't been easy for Daniel We've Dimes, done man. everything possible. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That is bingo. That's accountability for you. Right and there. that's the thing, too. If the Giants are going to bring the Bills program in, because they've had two interviews with Brian Dayball, right? And they've had an interview with Leslie Frazier as well. If they're going to bring the Bills program in here, Daniel Jones can run it and throw it too, folks. Yeah, he can. Now, obviously, <laughs> Josh Allen, as I've mentioned here daily, is the man. I mean, like, it's obvious now he has placed himself on the perch of best in the league, argument of best in the league, best of his generation, he has now placed himself in that argument, the way that he has ascended year after year after year. The fact that he didn't make the championship round this year just leaves the fact that he could take multiple steps forward next year, and I believe it. So Jones can throw it and run it too. He's not as, you know, thick it's Allen. Like, he's not delivering the blow at the end of the run like Allen. But if you bring the Bills ideas down here and schemes and concepts, just got to block for him. The line has been terrible. Another one of the reasons why the Giants have screwed it up and changed coaches and changed offensive coordinators midseason on him and then left them broken and battered. And their big money guys need to stay healthy. They do too. It doesn't man. help that Kenny Galladay. You but know, you don't sign Kenny Galladay, Galladay when you can't protect up front to begin with. That's how you screw it up too. True, but That's you also how need you to screw get your, it up you too. Get your quarterback weapons. But you don't go out and spend all that money on Kenny Galladay if you know it's going to be tough to protect him. What are you thinking? Yeah. Just hoping against hope these guys can unsieve themselves. I mean, I mean, the, come on. The Bengals rolled the dice. Worked out for them. So, I, I, I guess I, I could see your point. You know, that's all we talked about in the drafts was like, hey, Joe Burrow got killed I, I, last year. Why aren't they drafting more linemen? You know, they're going to take Jamar Chase. All that's right. A, no, that's an excellent counterpoint there, but um, maybe that's the outlier. Yeah. And Jones clearly uh, in Burrow. I mean, no, I don't I know mean, how many people are. Clearly not. But if you're the Giants, I would definitely stick with – Daniel Jones rather than bring in Deshaun Watson with everything else that's going on. And it's expensive. Well, yeah, right now, all you got to do is pick up Jones's fifth year option if that's what you want to do. You don't even have to do that. Yeah. You got him. Obviously, to get Deshaun Watson, you'd have to give up 
number five and number seven, which you definitely don't want to do. And Dayball getting his second interview there, that that wouldn't be the bad move. I think that wouldn't the, be the bad move because there, there was a, a, you know, Roman Oban, former Roman NFL player Oban. who's now in the NFL front office. Uh, he tweeted out yesterday something that, that hit in my timeline. Um, Dayball, this apparently happened in, in uh, training camp to tell everybody that, you know, you're all on equal footing and don't forget where you come from and use that to your advantage. He had the coaches and the players in the room, Dayball, addressing everybody. And he asked all coaches, if you've been fired uh, or let go, you know, however you want, not renewed, sit, you know, sit down. Every coach in the room sat down, including, I guess, the head coach. You know, he got fired by Andy Reid. Yeah. Then he said to all the players, he goes, every player that has not been traded or cut, sit down. And every player sat down, including Trubisky, who I guess was not renewed, but considered himself, you know, let go. He sat down. The only person standing was Josh Allen. <laughs> wow. And then he asks Josh Allen, he goes, how many offers out of high school did you get? And Allen goes, zero. And he's, Dayball's like, don't forget where you come from, everybody. Mm -hmm. And I get goosebumps just even wow. recounting wow. that story. That's awesome. I put that out there, and I got all these Giants fans saying, that's my guy. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe he is. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.